Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and over there we have John Lewandowski. How you doing, John? Hey, I'm doing all right. Hi, everybody. So I had a little bit of a tech issue. Had to fix it real quick. Sorry, folks. As I was saying, <laughs> this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I am Daniel Goodman, and we have John over there. So, John, how's uh, how's your start to training camp been today? Ah, uh, pretty good. Other than it making us not want to leave our house. Right, right. Every time I left my house today, it seemed like news broke, which was kind of funny. Which, every time you left your house, I was walking around in the woods. <laughs> so I wasn't home either. Right. So, but we were talking to each other. Like, I had just no. got off the phone with you with one of the sightings. Had just literally broke seconds later. And I'm just like, right. Oh, you couldn't have done it like 20 seconds earlier when I checked. Right. <laughs> I actually checked and it then it still did it to me. It's like they wait. <laughs> but anyway, that's why we're here as well. Um, they have some signings as far as training camp goes. I heard that yep. they have semi-closed practice. Semi-closed meaning that uh Nashville media people were there, but no independent media, which means like ESPN, people like that, none of them were there. Also, kudos to Roman Yossi, who apparently had to draw the Preds logo at 60 seconds and drew like a dolphin. <laughs> um, and uh, then you got uh, Yossi as well. He was at ESPN's headquarters today. Uh, doing some uh, work with them for their intro for hockey this year. Uh, you'd think they'd have already done that. But, hey, who am I to judge? Right. There's all these timetables. We don't know them. Yeah. Anyway, as we are here, we have two signings today, one for the Everblades, one for the Emeralds. We're going to do a both of this video. Um, yep. Actually, we only have one video coming for you tonight. I initially planned on two before I get into the signings. I'm sorry, folks. My brain's a little scattered today. I've had a long day. Um, I want to thank all 1,600 people who follow our page. And we are almost up to 1,500. We are nine away. It could be dropping. I do not. Did, I have not looked. Um, when I last saw it, it was at uh, 1,491. I will check that as we talk about the Milwaukee Admiral signing. The Milwaukee Admiral signed Dylan Lujus. 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 Uh, L U J U S. Lujus. Lujus. Makes me want to go get some blue Kool Aid. Look, I mean no fun of making fun of people's name. That is not right. my list of things to do. But when you hear things like that, it makes you laugh. So that's what my job here is. Anyway, his statistics are he's 27 years old, six foot three, 203, right-handed shot sign. He was drafted in the second round by the Tampa Bay Lightning in 2012. Um, according to Eric K. Peary, who is an elite prospect scout, uh, Dylan is a defenseman with a fairly well-rounded game. He has good reach and is a reliable defenseman and owns his own decent offensive instincts. He has a fine shot from the point and could play with more aggression given his size. So uh, the only downside is he is a bigger dude, but he doesn't play with the physical prowess. Right. That that you, you, some guys in that size have. Now, statistically, I could give you the last three, which would be uh, 2018, 2019. He played for the Utica Comets. 43 games, one goal, seven assists, eight points plus 12. Last year, or the year after that, the last year we played, um, he played with the Utica Comets as well. Uh, 35 games played, four goals, five assists, nine points plus five. Then right. he had a 
Blockbuster last year, 21 games, one goal, one assist, minus six with 14 penalty minutes. He has not had over 60 penalty minutes in his entire playing career. That's pretty good. Um, his highest point total is his first year in the AHL with the Syracuse Crunch, 64, 67 games, four goals, 18 assists, 22 points, and an even plus minus of zero. Uh, given that, um, okay, I'm confused, but never mind. Um, he has a, uh, a brother who plays as well, Austin. Um, so it is a family. Okay. Hockey is always a family sport. Right yeah. now, he plays for, or pl he played in 2000. And, ah, he's got an older brother. He's 32. His last year, he played with the uh, junior blades in the GHL, he was nothing ever really all that impressive. He was 6'3", 190, so there's an average in there for as far as weight and height. Right. I can't wait to see what he does on the ice. Right. Um, with that being said, um, from Milwaukee to Nashville, would like to thank our sponsor, Hockey Locker, for our third season now. Our third full season. I do not count last year. This is our third full season with them. Um, I, I, we're really looking forward to what we can do to help Hockey Locker. Yeah. If you have a business and are looking for uh, free sponsorship at this time, um, we are willing to help out anyone with a legit business we don't want to help, you know, some guy who's working out of his garage, <laughs> you know. But uh, we uh, we want to help people get back off on their feet off of COVID. Yeah. Um, we know how hard this has been for businesses, um, com uh, businesses like uh, Stenny's and bars. Uh, you guys are more than welcome. Um, we just uh, respect that, uh, you know, you guys have access to us. So you can hit me up, uh, Daniel Gabros, good about on Facebook, or John, John Lewandowski on Facebook. Either one of us will get back to you yep. fairly quickly about sponsorship. All right. So um, the Everblades, they signed somebody today as well, Cam Baker. Uh, that is B A K K E R, not B A K E R. Uh, right. Uh, his full name is Cameron Baker. He's uh, 28 years old out of Kenmore, Ontario, Canada. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, he has, is six foot tall, 170, left handed shot defenseman. Dang. Hiccups. Yeah. Uh, last year, he played with the Pensacola Ice Flyers um, in the SPHL, which is a step down from the ECHO. Okay. Uh, he had 39 games played, two goals, 11 assists, 13 points, 35 penalty minutes, and a plus three, as well as having four playoff games, one assist, and a plus three. Okay. Uh, his time in the ECHL has been spent mostly as a loan um, uh, in 2019-2020, uh, yeah, uh, he was with the Brampton Beast for 43 games, four goals, eight assists, 12 points, even plus minus. Okay. Here, before that, he was with the South Carolina Stingrays, who eliminated us from the playoffs that year. Yeah. Correctly. Um, he, he played 42 games, one goal, 11 assists. Well, no, they didn't. They didn't even make it that year. According, or he didn't play one of the two. Um, and he had a uh, 12 points and a minus seven. Uh, never he, uh, early in his career, he had high penalty minutes, but since turning pro, they have been fairly low. Okay. Um, other than that. If you guys have any Everblades fans, if you have any 
questions about um, the uh, promotional schedule. It is on our Facebook page. Yeah. Um, also, uh, Emeralds fans, if you know anyone that wants to get into this game, please contact us. We are looking for help uh, covering the Everglades this season. Yeah. Uh, anybody who is willing to help is greatly appreciated at this time. We are trying to not overdo ourselves so that our significant others kill us. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I only joke, but uh, no, uh, we we don't want to run our cup dry early in the season. Um, right. We're only looking for someone to help on um, games where we have more than one opponent. Like uh, the Preds, Admirals, and Everglades are all playing in the same night. We may look for some help those nights. Um, yes. It's not going to be an every night thing. We're just right. looking for somebody to pitch in here and there when when we're a little overwhelmed with what we're doing. Um, sometimes it's a little hard. Um, I think uh, it was at ESPN Fort Myers. ESPN Fort Myers, you guys rock uh, for broadcasting every Florida Everblades game so that we can yeah. if you can't If you don't want to listen and you want to watch, go to flowhockey.com flowsports.com and get their package um we are still going like this on it at the current moment this is the issue <laughs> just yeah. so you all know. um we are we're giving you a little bit of a rundown of what we're we're thinking here so that you guys are aware of how we're going to try and do this right um, i i would like to thank the admirals for um giving uh us this platform because when I first started, I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> I mean, literally no clue. Our first video is actually. <laughs> I apologize. Hey. My ringer was off. All right. Our first video Hello. is still up on YouTube. And in my eyes, it is the worst video I've ever done. <laughs> Because I dropped the F bomb like 80 times. I was madder than sin yeah. at the organization, mostly on the prowess of certain things. It, it had nothing to do with like the front office or the people on the team or anything like that. I was just mad because we missed the playoffs the year before. Right. You know, we were one game away and we missed it by one game. I was just frustrated. I remember that. I was crushed that year, man. Yeah. Um, I would I would like to also note that uh, if those of you that will be at Admiral's preseason game on the 7th, you can see me there. Um, John is a major question mark. Yeah. Uh, John has a medical procedure that day, so we will see what happens. Yep. <laughs> So we're going to go from there with that. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that as well. The uh, Nashville Predators kick off their season October 12th. They're giving the uh, Seattle Kraken the first crack at yeah. the Nashville Predators this year. In Nashville, we will see how it goes. We're really looking forward to getting back to work, being in front of uh, being in front of the camera with you for you guys. Oh, yeah. Being live. Uh, of course. Uh, uh, that is one of our main goals is to be live as much as possible. Yeah. Um, if you guys see a video that's labeled Milwaukee Admirals, Nashville Predators, and Florida Everblades, and then it has a label of each opponent uh, versus on the other side, that just means that we covered all the games in one video. Right. Because we were and we'll try and learn how to put like highlight marks in. I know there's a way to do it for you guys so you can like go to the next one if you need to find your teams or whatnot. Yeah, we're gonna work on that as well. Um, we are trying really hard to get watch time on Facebook so that we can get monetized a little bit more so that we can do a little more for you. Right. The more we get, the more opportunity we have, the more opportunity we have, the more we can give you. Yep. And, and that's where we're at right now. Um, we would also like 
to ask for uh, uh, our our your thoughts and prayers with uh, a fellow Admiral season ticket holder, uh, Tina Gola. Uh, she lost her father this uh, yesterday, I believe it was. Um, we have a GoFundMe or her GoFundMe up on our page. If yes, any, we do. Any little bit helps, please. Yep. We're using our platform. Uh, you know, her and her, mo her mother and father were married um, since they were 18. They were together their whole lives, loved each other. They were each other's whole world. Um, I wish I had that <laughs> at times when I was younger. Um, uh, you know, just I wish I had my wife in my life at that time. You know, but, right. Uh, world works in mysterious ways. Yes, it does. Is if you could go either on there or donate or please comment under down below giving your thoughts and prayers. I will make sure that she sees them. Um, you know, uh, every little bit of emotional and financial support towards this family helps a long way. They, she, um, she and a few other people helped me when I was in a down spot in my life. And I thank her greatly. And if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be sitting here today and doing this. Um, you know, I was in a really rough spot. I was homeless. I had nothing. And she helped me um, find some resources. And, and I'm greatly appreciated to her and the organization she works for for that. Um, in particular, because she knew I was an admiral. So, you know. <laughs> um, the other thing, uh, Hockey Locker, right now. Peewees, Phantoms, Junior Hockey, rinks are opening soon. Check out Hockey Locker. Hockey Locker is an amazing store. They do wonderful work. Um, Milos is a great guy, gives you great customer service. Mention us, he may even be nice. Cut you a little deal. May. Right. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, tell them we sent you. At least then, you know, if he cuts you a deal, great. If he says, hi, next time you come in, it's half, you know, a couple bucks off. Um, yeah. Those things, they do pay off. Uh, he does have a drop-off box for skates for those of you who just like casual skating. Um, he has a drop-off box. Leave contact info and you put your skates in the drop-off box. He will contact you when they are done and may even contact you beforehand if, if you have a specific style you want done to your blade like width and sharpness, dullness, what you want done. So for that, um, Milos is really good at that. Uh, they're fully stocked right now on all their equipment. I'm not going to run through all the companies because, well, I don't want to get them in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right. They're not paying me, so um, he he is. So it is it is how that works in this world, unfortunately. Um, the uh, Admiral's promotional schedule is not out to this day. The National Predator's promotional schedule is not out to this day. As far as we know, for the Admiral's uh, COVID restriction policy, this is yeah. uh, Wisconsin Center District. As um, far as we know, vaccinated, you are not required to wear a mask, but if it makes you feel comfortable, do so. If you are not vaccinated, wear a mask. Those are the restrictions at the current moment that we know of. Those were the restrictions when I went to AEW. Um, we will see if anything changes, but those are the restrictions at the current. Right. Bridgestone Arena, vaccination or um, a negative COVID test within 72 hours of the game. So if you're going down there and you get tested, you know, say you're, you're at home and, and you get tested here and you go down there the next day um, for the game, uh, if you're from Milwaukee area, you should be fine if you get tested. So, um, I mean, it, it, sometimes you just got to do it. If you love the sport enough, you, you do what you got to do to go watch what you love. Right. Uh, you know, what gets you, gets you out of home for a little bit, gets you out of the town, get you back to seeing stuff. Um, Nashville's a very beautiful city, wonderful town. I spent three wonderful, well, two wonderful days there. Third day was kind of spooky. Right. <laughs> With hockey, it's that wonderful little bit where the world just melts away for a little while. 
Yeah, I mean, and that I guess you can say that about any sport. Yeah. Say that in sports in general, it, it the mandates are not normally passed down by the teams. Now I know that Nashville runs the management for Bridgestone. By that, I don't know who made the decision. Right. Um, for us, Wisconsin, the center district runs our building. I do not know who runs the Florida Everglades building, nor do I know their COVID restriction. To my recollection, Florida does not even have COVID restriction. Um, yeah, I don't know either, man. At the current moment, Florida as a state does not have any COVID restrictions. Um, so there's that. Uh, beyond, it's hard enough keeping up with our own. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I'm getting all the info I can for you, folks. Um, I would also like to thank uh, two wonderful people that have been following us since uh, day one. Um, one is a guy by the name of Dan. Uh, he is an Admiral fan and has been following us from day one. I would like to thank him so much for his support, as well as Robert Sharp, who... Uh, helps us uh, from time to time with news and other stuff if we are busy doing things like right yes thank you both um i would also like to thank um our top fans who are uh we have barbara ewing Bowman and garrett benedict uh both of you uh, barbara has been a top fan for eight months almost a year thank you so so much uh garrett half a year thank you all so much uh if you want to become a top fan all you gotta do is like our stuff and you will get the badge right do it for more than 30 days roughly watch our content comment uh put likes you'll get the badge um i don't get to choose who gets it Facebook just pops it up and tells me whether or not I want to give it. I I normally approve it. Right. Uh, I want to thank one more time TNT Racing for allowing us to allowing us to put our logo on their car this year. It was yes, like a thank fun, you. Fun blast to have. As you see, I'm still representing them. They're such <laughs> a great um uh so a lot of people didn't know that this year, um, this year from Milwaukee to Nashville donated a uh, die cast replica style race car. And oddly enough, the winner of that was my one-year-old son. <laughs> <laughs> it was really awkward because I, I, I had told, I'm going to tell the story because, you know, story time, it's story time with Dan. <laughs> um anyway um i had called him the night before telling him i said well when are you when are we doing the drawings i kind of want to congratulate the person myself and and i'll make the call he goes well today that night when he pulled the name he goes are you going to call yourself because my kids were there putting it in because they wanted to win the cars as well. They're kids, you know. I I could have bought, just bought it for them, but I, I didn't. I, I wanted somebody, everybody to have an equal chance. And, you know, um, there was a young girl from New York that won uh, from Buffalo, uh, that won, won from uh, one of the other sponsors on the race car. And Marty had called and the parents put her on the phone and she was jumping around the house, jumping on her bed, going, I won, 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 I won. And then she goes, oh, wait, how am I going to get it? <laughs> <laughs> so it was really fun. It's really fun. There's not much you can't, there's a certain amount of happiness you get from hearing your child being truly happy. Right. And these kids, 30 seconds of happiness. Um, just so that you're aware, if you guys do come out to Slinger and you bring your kids next year, we're going to be doing the same thing. That's our public announcement right now. We are donating another car next year. If not one, maybe more. Because I know I can get them easy. So, um, 
I, I, there's just so much going on. Uh, let's see. Um, I've heard uh, rumors of Nashville retiring Tucker's number as one of their promotion dates. If that is uh, legit and, and set in stone, there's going to be a chance I may want to take that truck down to Nashville. Right. Um, I've heard rumor that we want to do it here in Milwaukee. Um, for the Everblades fans, I want to say that your promotions, Thanks, your promotion schedule is done um, on October 30th. You guys have okay. an Halloween event along with a, it's DC Heroes Night. So you guys are going to probably have a custom jersey that night as well. Um, I always like seeing them. I can never afford them, but I always like seeing right. them. Right. Yeah. I'm kind of a Jersey fanatic. I have way more than I should. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much all we have at this time. Uh, yeah. We will be seeing you guys back on Saturday for a recap of the only preseason game that we're going to be able to get to because – the other two are at 9 a.m. Now, I understand. Yeah. They're on a weekend. They're at 9 a.m. Who wants to wake up at 9 a.m. to go to work on a weekend? <laughs> <laughs> well, when it's hockey season, that's sometimes what we got to do. So we can't promise the other two will get done. But we'll probably do something later in the day after right. a gander at what we know. Uh, another thing, the Preds camp opens up, I believe, the 26th. It's our first preseason game. We will be covering every single one of those. Because, well, we're creatures of habit. <laughs> <laughs> and if we get out of the habit too long, we have to get back into it, or we make mistakes like I did, did this whole video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but we had a lot of fun. We hope we've gotten you to chuckle a little, unwind. Yep, enjoy life because we only get one. Yeah. Um, and that's why I'm saying do whatever you can to enjoy sporting venues. They need your help too. Yes, Event they do. More than ever. More than ever. If you want your team to stick around, you will go to games. If you don't, have fun when get mad when your team relocates because that's pretty much because of the pandemic a lot of teams are financially hurting we don't yeah. want any of that we've never bashed a team solely on no. whatever they put in front of us we may not go to their games in their respective buildings because it'll make travel very hard right we plan on trying to make it to rockford Possibly Iowa, possibly Grand Rapids. Chicago's out of the question. <laughs> we'll go further distances to stay away from Chicago. <laughs> um, because Chicago, it is vaccinated and you have to have an Illinois ID to get in. So Chicago's basically out of the question. Right. Um, Rockford is, I don't know their their policy just yet. I will be looking into that over the next couple of weeks because I know a lot of Admirals fans travel to Chicago and to Rockford for away games when we play them. So I go, uh, including me who travels to Rockford for almost every game down there. I mean, me and John <laughs> are already talking about spending a weekend down there. <laughs> right. So um, we, we're hoping to get through this. Uh, we're these things, they don't last forever. And uh, hopefully we can get back to normal. So, right. this is Milwaukee and Nashville. See y'all later.